and welcome to Wipro headquarters. The results are out, decent set of numbers, and I have with me the top management to put those numbers in perspective. Let me start with the man of numbers, CFO Suresh Hirapati is there. Of course, Girish Paranjpe and Suresh Vaswani, the joint CEOs, also join us. Uh, let me start with you. If I were to ask you for the highlight, will the 60 basis points margin expansion be yours? Absolutely. I think the amount of uh, effort that the management has put over the last 12 months to be able to re-engineer the cost structure and given the kind of an environment, uh, we have been able to do a lot of those uh, changes which we have never done so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore the 60 basis points improvement that we sort of got in the last quarter, despite the headwind of rupee appreciation, despite the headwind of uh, multiple other things that were compensation increase, I think is a very, very satisfying so on one. on back of what it has come? It has come through varieties of operational efficiency. I mean, as you have seen before, we have got a margin dilution because of a lot of acquisitions. I think a lot of efforts have been put in uh, by the management team, and therefore we have seen a significant amount of improvement on all those acquisition areas. We have seen a lot of improvement in the <coughs> area of offshore on-site uh, kind leverage, of a thing, yeah. fixed price projects, mm -hmm. non-linearity movements. I think all this has helped us to be able to mitigate this. Uh, so will headwinds. you be happy hovering around this mark, or there is scope for more? Well, I think uh, there is opportunities for us to be able to operate in many other levers. Like you said, that in the industry there are many others with better margins. So I'm sure there are a lot of headspace for us to be able to work on uh, to improve further. All right, your task is cut out. Let <laughs> me get you in, Girish Paranjwe. Give me a sense of you know the clients. Now the IT budgets are frozen. Give me a sense of overall what's what's it that you are reading up. Long-term contracts is that closing? For example, is there budget cuts that has come by in certain spaces? Give me a sense of that. So a lot more normalcy, I would say. Uh, the modest increase in IT budgets, but people are now willing to spend what they have. Mm -hmm. So just in the space of uh, last one quarter, we have signed uh, new large deals worth almost a billion dollars. So which just shows that people are willing to. Uh, look at their business and say what can be done uh, which gives them long-term benefit and that's where we are helping clients on that side. So I would say uh, there is a certain amount of uh, care when people are kind of spending today. So it is not that they opened out their checkbooks and willing to sign anything, but they're, once they think there's a business case, they're willing to spend. So do they tell you double dip is a possibility, so I will not commit to a long-term contract kind of a thing? So I think people are careful, but I think the prospect of a double dip is kindly receding in everybody's mind. Mm -hmm. And that reflects in the guidance for coming quarter. That's pretty much on the growth trajectory as well. It is, it is on a growth trajectory. I think it's a good guidance. Uh, last quarter, as you know, we were at the upper end of the guidance. Uh, this quarter, we've guided strongly. So yes, the, the market momentum is building up, and that's manifesting itself in our results. Last quarter, the previous quarter, including the guidance that we've given. OK, let me do a check on the verticals. Uh, BFSI has been very strong for you. Right now, how are you reading it? Is that sort of bottoming out? Will other sort of sectors, uh, uh, you know, overgrow BFSI, or you still see that strength continuing for a few quarters? So I think the great news for us has been that there's been broad-based growth. Clearly, BFSI has been strong, but uh, we've seen after many quarters a pickup on the engineering side as well. So technology business has grown, our telecom equipment vertical business has grown, our product engineering services business has grown. So all these businesses which went through probably the steepest downturn in the last 24 months have done kind of come out of that recession and people are kind of spending to build and you know release new products. So I think the good news for us is that uh, while uh, the business growth has been led mostly on the enterprise side for many others, for us we are seeing a much more balanced growth. BFS are of course doing well, uh, en energy and utilities doing well, but also pick up in the traditional engineering business. All right, Suresh Vaswani, where is the incremental growth coming from? That's interesting. Is discretionary spent back or it's still some time to go before we start talking about it? See, I'll tell you, customers uh, clearly are in an investment mode. Mm -hmm. uh, they're looking at first significant cost transformation in their business. So that is a key driver for them. And this is across all the, all the sectors. Uh, they're also beginning to look at from a future perspective in terms of making moves that would transform their business vis-a-vis -vis their customers. So they're making investments in that as well. Tubar.com.